how to add service charge on square hello guys and welcome to this new short tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can add a service charge within your square account it is very easy and very simple all you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go the first thing that you need to do is to head to squareup.com then sign in for your account after you have signed in you will see the admin dashboard Right here, we have the key metrics and etc. from the statistics and also the analytics. Now, the most important part right there is to set the items and also the orders. And how we can find those, we're going to scroll down a little bit right here on the left side menu. And we can see under the all products, we have items and orders. Click on it and then you're going to click on the second time on the items. Now, we have a library opened. And this library is specific for the items. Now we are going to see the service library because we are going to add a service charge on our account. Click on service library and here we have simply the services. So how you can set or add a service, simply click on create service. Now we're going to see here a tab containing the service information. For example, the name of that service or the title. Let's set it right there, post or social, social media posts like that. And here, as you can see, we have a badge or a card specific for that service. When you click on it, you can change the color of it to something else. So you can go ahead and set it customizable for future booking on your calendar, for example, on Square or on Google Calendar and etc. Now. For the description, it is very important and vital to set a detailed description about the project, about also the service and the duration and also the feature that will the client get. Now, be specific on this because the client will suit you and uh, let you get some troubles about uh, the services. Now, we have the choice to upload some images as illustrations so you can go ahead and do that because you can go and uh, make some illustration to make the clients see how the work is done now you can add a location and this must not be a physical location it can be a digital location now for the categorization you can add a category or select one for the price we have two options either you go with the fixed one or the variable one the fixed price is set for a finished product for example, I have finished my product. I'm going to set, for example, a 100 and charge $100 only for that product or that service. So it is already finished. But if I want to set it variable, so that will depend on the customer needs. For example, I have a project of the value and charge of $100. And the client wants to add some details also or wants to add a revision. I will go ahead and charge the client the price of that revision or of, ad, of this addition. So make your choice right there and then we are going to proceed to the duration. We have a max duration of 24 hours. You can add a 24 hours right there project and here we have it. Also you can add some minutes. For the variation it is up to you to add a variation to a single service or pricing options and also duration and more. Right there, finally, on the next step, which is the advanced settings, you can add some modifiers and some attributes. Here we have the option to set some custom attributes and etc. And here we have also the option to add the scheduling with a square appointment. Now, when you finish all of this, you're going to click on save. And here we have the service or charge service added. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.